Good morning, everybody. Thank you for coming today, and thank you for helping us uh, lead us into worship today with that processional. Today is, do you know what special day in the church year today is? Yeah. Um, Pentecost. Pentecost. Yes, it is Pentecost Sunday. And so that's what we celebrate today. That's why you see all of these colors in the room. That's why you see, what colors do you see today? Red. Yeah, just, you can yell them out, yell them out. Red, orange, and yellow. Red, orange, and yellow, right? So what, what, what do those colors make you think about? Yeah. Fire. Yeah, fire. Yeah, so the story of Pentecost is that, is that one day there were all kinds of people gathered together and then all of a sudden a sound like a rushing wind and then all of a sudden these, well the Bible describes it as tongues of fire. Now I, I think we'd have to use our imagination with this and it's sort of like we have to just think it was a really cool experience. I don't know exactly what that felt like but the, the fire is one of the symbols of the Holy Spirit. Now the Spirit is, is the way in which we can know God. Jesus told his disciples that when he would leave this earth, that the Holy Spirit would come and teach them everything that they needed to know, everything that they needed to remember him by. And I think of the Spirit, sort of, if you think back to fire, when you blow out a candle, it makes smoke. It makes smoke. You can kind of see the smoke in the air. Or think of it another way. Sometimes if you see the, the leaves on the trees moving, I what is that? It's the... It's the wind, right? Now, you can't see the wind, but you know that the wind is there. I think that's kind of like what the Spirit is like. It's blowing. The, the wind blows, and sometimes it blows your hair. Now, I think that's kind of the way the Spirit is. We, don't, we can't maybe see God's Spirit, but we can know where God's Spirit is. And I think it's wherever there is love, wherever people are brought together, wherever we can overcome our differences, I think the Spirit is at work. And that's an amazing thing. So today, throughout the service, if you have a stick in your hand, I'm going to invite you, and maybe especially you two right here, um, I'm going to invite you, my kids, by the way, I'm going to invite you to ch exchange your stick for the super cool shower curtain ribbon. <laughs> and wherever in the service, and if you would like another, if, you, if any of you would want one of these instead of your stick, you're welcome to one. If you hear the word spirit or Pentecost, I want you simply to raise those colors and very gently, in a non-threatening manner, <laughs> wave those Pentecost colors, all right? So let's practice it. Just remember, very gently wave. If I say the Holy Spirit, you can just very gently let the wind kind of push those like it blows the leaves. All right, so I'm going to pray, and then you guys can go back to your seats. Jesus, we thank you for this day. We thank you for Pentecost Sunday. And we thank you for your spirit that leads us and teaches us, helps us remember what you said, helps us to follow you in the world. We pray uh, that we would follow that spirit's leading each and every day. Amen.